Let's go. Woo! Two matinees in Vermillion this afternoon. I have five minutes to get ready. Man, I probably had enough <laughs> caffeine last night to kill a child. Oh, wow. Easily. So he was in Grand Prairie playing with Wild P and the Spirit, the spirit. last night. Yeah. The we were at Blue Zone White playing with White Bronco, and White now Bronco. we're going to Vermilion, Alberta. As an Atta. As an Atta. This Jeff is showing his family Vermilion. There's Eddie. Hey, Eddie, you're on film, man. <laughs> Why what, buddy? See, I always like when a small town doesn't have a Walmart because the main street stays alive. Look at this picture. Look at that. I wonder what Craig's is like. Hubkins restaurant. I'll take a picture of that and show you what I get home. You know? So we're getting ready to load it. Watch out, just a, just a song of you. So we just finished the first of uh, two shows and he's pretty busy in there. Jeff and Ryan are conniving in the distillery part. Look at this guy, always looks like he's up to something. This is Rod, he makes all this happen. <laughs> Not he's really. Ryan. He's well, actually he's the, the owner of Vermilion. Exactly, he's the Vermillionaire. So that's your other option. He's a Senate? He has Senate that same phone? Leader. Oh wow. When they announced they were getting rid of these, he bought 20. How do you flip it open? How do you Classic flip it open? Disc. Just like that. Yeah. Main Street Vermilion. Whoa. That's dope. See that? All this kind of shit dies at Elks Hall. Uh, no fucking thank you, buddy. Look, this is this. They definitely used to have live bands in here. Entertainment, not anymore. Jeff and I were reminiscing about how we started playing music. 2007. Yeah. And Ryan. The, the was beginning of the kids. end for the uh, the uh, small town hotel bar connection. The two in one stop. But most of them were called the zoo. A lot of zoos in Alberta. That place looks all right. Brand new. Okay, so we got a per diem for in between our two shows. Uh, it was $80. And right now we're deciding what to spend it on. One option is we could get Happy Meals at McDonald's and spend the rest at Value Buds. <laughs> Good option. Good solid, option. Solid option. Uh, or go to Nick's, which is the local spot. And I think we're gonna so, so, be grown up. And what do you wanna do, Ryan? <laughs> you already know Taco Del Mar and Valley Buds. <laughs> so I'm, I'm hungrier. I need more than a half. Here's what. A badass okay. burrito and the badass blonde. Good. I propose we try to make Nick's affordable and then we'll have enough money left over. To go Nick, to you better Buds. not let us down because I actually love Taco Del Mar. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to Nick's. And look, this is just out of town. I dare you to jump in the lake. Dude, it's. I, it's got ice over it. it has it's a thin really layer of ice on it. Oh man, that is very, very picturesque. So here we are in Nick's. We haven't seen Nick yet, but... He's in the back. Yeah. The, spe the special is prime rib dinner, and we're really thinking about maybe doing that. So we've got the prime rib dinner. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. This makes it all worth it right here. <laughs> Woo! The special was $20 each, and after a tip, that leaves us how much? Ten. Ten dollars to spend <laughs> on weed. Let's do it!
We'll be putting on joint shows from now on. We're going to do it again. Put our heads together. We're just going to carry on doing joint presentations. So let's thank Court for coming on. Yeah! That was a lot of fun. Now it's time for our most favorite part of the night. Packing up. Okay, so we're all done. Jeff and I are talking about aliens. What do you think about Bob Lazar? Is Bob Lazar full of shit? I don't think he's full of shit, but I'm saying I don't think some, something's not quite right with him. Jeff thinks he's all legit. Well, we both agree the guy that right he... you too. And me. But I'm not going on Joe Rogan being like, listen to what I have to say. That's not what you're all about. You go up on stage and play music. Bob Lazar goes up on Joe Rogan. And part of my brand is a not quite right. <laughs> He's just a little off kilter. <laughs> Anyways, Ryan's in the back TikToking. He's on the TikTok. Tic Tac. Um, so in between, the shows are good. In between Vermillion and Edmonton, there's like a couple of band houses that we have explored. So I explored one. Put it up on my Facebook uh, groups page that I'm on for abandoned stuff. And someone commented saying, I used to live in that house and the guy that lived there after me was an old man that lived there alone and he died in it. Now we're gonna go back to this house. It's now 10 at night, in the middle of nowhere. Is built in the 90s. They're, so they're just no, saying, I want to blaze in this terrifying basement. Well, yeah. Nice. Any ghosts in here want to <laughs> suck my dick? <laughs> no, I don't know. It just smells like a body. Sign them more down. Should I close the door? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Drop that. No, no, leave the door. <laughs> what do you want? It's all good. Look at this. There's a pit. How deep do you think that water is? It's not very. I don't know, but it just stinks. Yeast. I have some burrs in my pants. Yeah, salvation. Me, Vans never looks so good.